I am not one that likes the sound of my own voice. I hear lisps and mumbles, stumbled starts and trailing words. I'll fake an accent, even if it's poorly done. Nor do I like using my own face, and so I manipulate that too. I add and subtract. I cut and I paste. I raise contrast. I lower saturation. Creams become white. Whites become whiter. Blacks become dramatic. My eyes pop. My cheeks blush. My lips shine. I manipulate. My body becomes another body. The perfect one. The digital one. The one that never changes, no matter the bad haircuts, the zits, the new scars, the dark circles, the bad tan, the stained teeth. The perfect friend. The perfect student. The perfect partner. The perfect employee. The perfect artist. I want them all to not see the imperfections, only the digital me. The computer becomes the rose-colored glasses that I want. Perhaps what we all want. Or need. Our self-portraits become more controlled. We manipulate them to affirm ourselves. Reveal our inner power. Perhaps even our inner beauty. Do we lie? Or do we tell a deeper truth with these modern self-portraits? Do they speak of selves that unfiltered, photographic reality cannot capture? The self that is taller. The self with bigger breasts or a smaller waist. Or even the self of a different gender. A different age. The selves that are not seen at the skin level. The selves that we play in our safe, anonymous virtual worlds. The seductress. The invincible warrior. The masked genius. The illustrator. The animator. The artist. Our virtual worlds and our digital bodies can become true reflections of whom we are. Whom we aspire to be. So manipulate. Illustrate. Animate. Recreate. Be reborn in another skin. The digital skin. Sis, 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 sis.